Let's talk about five reasons to go the extra mile and supersize your business or five, five reasons why you would want to go the extra mile. Go the extra mile, of course, comes from the Bible, book of Matthew, uh, actually Matthew 541, chapter 541. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus talks about if somebody forces you to uh, go a mile or walk a mile with them, go to, meaning, and then by the 1900s, people called that and shortened that to go the extra mile and it meant to outperform to uh, always do more than people expected of you to uh, surpass expectations to outperform go above and beyond things like that and I think all of us I've definitely used go the extra mile I like to think that I go the extra mile but I was thinking about it today and I thought wow since COVID one of my thoughts is do what you can do what you can with what you've got right now and I realized that I need to replace that with more often let's go the extra mile let's do whatever we can with what we've got right now instead of just do what you can do whatever you can meaning go that extra mile push a little further try a little more now why are five what are five reasons that we want to do that why do we want to do more than people expect of us well, number one, we've got that feel-good factor. Whenever we give value, whenever we serve other people, it makes us feel good. You know, sometimes we think that giving and charity and contribution and sharing is um, all about the other people. But it really, we get as much benefit by sharing, by contributing, by adding value, by serving other people, if not more than the people that we actually help and serve, especially with respect to our businesses. Number two, it improves our knowledge of our customer, the people that we're here to serve. If we are going the extra mile, we're trying to figure out how to serve them better than anyone else. How can we meet their needs better than the competition, right? Number three, it will uh, boost our businesses and our career. Doing extra, doing more than other people do, doing more than people expect, under-promising and over-delivering will always garner you more respect, more business, more customers, more word of mouth. People talk about when other people perform really, really well, above and beyond what they expected. Think of the last time you were involved with a company and their product or service, and they did something unexpected. A lot of times, especially now when we're ordering things, there's certain companies that will throw in a little free extra. I've got a vitamin supplement company that I am doing and using during the pandemic, and every couple of months, they throw in an extra sample of one of their other products or services. Now, it's related to what I'm buying from them already, so it's, it's a positive bonus. It's something I wouldn't have probably thought of or tried if I didn't get a sample of it. But I think I've bought three products now that way from them, additional products, because I got a sample of it that I didn't even ask for. So it was kind of a, a reward for being on their auto ship program, but it also made me feel good and it also helped their business because I've now, I now spend, you know what, $150 more a month with them than I would have otherwise. So it's good for business. It's good for your career. It's good for your business. Remember in corporate America, I was one of those people that people could count on to, they could ask me to do something and I would do it. I would go the extra mile, I would go above and beyond to help them. And that gave me a reputation in the businesses that I worked for that I was somebody that could get things done. So when it came promotion time, guess what? The upper echelon and my bosses thought of me as someone to promote. So it did help my career as well. Uh, number four, you can use it to fix your mistakes, right? All of us, every one of our companies, every one of our organizations, no matter what, we screw stuff up sometimes, right? We make mistakes. As much as we like to think we're, we're amazing human beings, which we are, we all make mistakes. We all, you know, do things wrong. Things happen, especially the bigger our companies get, the more mistakes that happen, right? Because there's more moving pieces. There's more people. There's more uh, possible ways for things to go wrong. And no matter how awesome our processes and systems are, we're going to make mistakes. And it's a great way to fix our mistakes by going the extra mile. The quickest, easiest way to do that is to empower your frontline people, the people that are interacting with your customers on a daily basis. Let them have the freedom to make things right with the customer, to delight and surprise the customer. And don't beat them up for their decisions after the fact. Just use it as a, a learning experience. You know, if somebody uh, comps an entire thing, for, an entire order for somebody and they had one little thing wrong, 
maybe that's a learning experience. And finally, number five, our going the extra mile is an incredibly positive way to set the example for other people, right? You impact other people in in the ways directly that your behavior impacts them, the things that you do for them by going the extra mile, but you also set the example and give other people permission to perform better, right? It raises the whole level of performance in the entire organization that you're involved in because they see your example of going the extra mile. Will there be the some people that grumble and complain and that you're doing too much? You know, that's called peer pressure, but that's, there's a positive and a negative there's two sides to every coin, right? So I say be the example, not the warning. Let those grumblers and complainers and whiners be the negative example and you be the positive example by going the extra mile. So how do you go the extra mile in your life and how do you go the extra mile, especially in your business? Share in the comments below so we can all learn from one another. And I will be with you again tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you apply it to your business right now? Have an awesome day. Questions, hit me up. Otherwise, bye.